First of all, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence moves quickly from a sci-fi to self-driving cars. While science fiction frequently portrays AI as human-like robots, I can include everything from Google search algorithms to the Watson IBM to independent weapons. Artificial intelligence today is correctly referred to as narrow AI or weak AI because it is designed to do a tight job. E. G. Only facial recognition or only internet searches or only driving a car. But many researchers' long-term goal is to build eyes in general, a G or strong AA. Although narrow AI can surpass people for anything, their specific task is such as playing chess or solving equations. A G A would surpass man for almost every cognitive task. Why research AI safety? Research in many areas. From economy and law to technical subjects like verification, validity, safety, and control, is motivated in the short term to maintain the impact of AI on society. It can be little more than a minor annoyance if your laptop crashes or is hacked, but if you control your car, airplane, pacemaker, automated trading system, or power grid, it becomes all the more important that AI system does what you want. The prevention of a devastating arms race with mortal autonomous weapons is another short-term challenge. How can artificial intelligence be dangerous? Most researchers agree that a superintelligent AI is unlikely to have human emotions such as love or hate, and that it is unlikely that AI will become deliberately benevolent or malicious. Rather, experts think that two scenarios most likely when considering how AI could become a risk. Ew. The AI is something devastating in programming artificial intelligence systems which are scheduled to kill or autonomous weapons. These weapons could easily lead to mass casualties in the hands of the wrong person. In addition, inadvertently, an AI arms race may lead to an AI war leading to mass casualties. These weapons were designed to be extremely difficult to simply turn off in order to avoid being thwarted by the enemy so that people could plausibly lose control over such a situation. Even with small AIs, this risk is present but is increasing. E. The AI is programmed to do something good, but it has developed a devastating method to achieve its purpose. This can happen if we do not fully align the AI's objectives with ours. You may get chased by helicopter and covered with vomit when you ask for an obedient smart car to take you to the airport as fast as possible and do not do what you want, but really what you requested. If an ambitious geoengineering project takes on a superintelligent system, it can have a side effect on our ecosystem and humane efforts to put an end to it as a threat to be met. As these examples illustrate, the concern about advanced AI is in malevolence but competence. A superintelligent AI will be extremely good at accomplishing its goals, and if those goals aren't aligned with ours, we have a problem. You're probably not an evil and hater who steps on ants out of malice, but if you're in charge of a hydroelectric green energy project and there's an ant hill in the region to be flooded, too bad for the ants. A key goal of AI safety research is to never place humanity in the position of those ants. Why the recent interest in AI safety? Stephen Hawking, Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, Bill Gates, and many other big names in science and technology have recently expressed concern in the media and via open letters about the risk posed by a joint by many leading researchers. Why is the subject suddenly in the headlines? Long thought of as science fiction, several centuries or so from there, the idea that the quest for AI might ultimately succeed. However, many of milestones, which experts saw only five years ago, have now been reached thanks to recent breakthroughs. Which make a number of experts take the possibility of superintelligence seriously into our lives. While some experts believe that the AI level of humans is hundreds of years away, most AI researchers conceived it was before 2060 at the 2015 Puerto Rico conference. Because the required safety research can take decades to finalize, it is now wise to launch it. Because AI has the potential to become more intelligent than any human, we have no surefire way of predicting how it will behave. We can't use past technological developments as much of a basis because we've never created anything that has the ability to wittingly or unwittingly smart us. The best example of what we could face may be our revolution. People now control the planet not because we're the strongest, fastest, or biggest, but because we're the smartest. If we're no longer the smartest, are we sure to remain in control? If our position is that our civilization will flourish as long as we win the race between the growing power of technology and the wisdom with which we manage it. In the case of AI technology, a fellow's position is that the best way to win that race is not to impede the former, but to accelerate the latter by supporting AI safety research. The advantages of artificial intelligence applications are enormous and can revolutionize any professional sector. 
Let's see some of them. No more human error. The phrase human error came from time to time because people make mistakes. However, if they are properly programming, computers do not make those mistakes. The decisions are made with artificial intelligence, based on information collected previously using a certain set of algorithms. This reduces errors and makes it possible to achieve greater accuracy. Number two takes risks instead of humans. This is one of artificial intelligence's greatest advantages. By developing an iRobot that can do risky things for us, we can overcome many risky limitations of humans. It can be used in every kind of natural and man-made disaster to go to Mars to defuse the bomb, to explore the deepest sections of the oceans, to mine coal and oil. In situations in which intervention can be dangerous, iRobots can be used. Number three, it's available 24 seven. An average person works four to six hours a day, except for breaks. The people are built to spend some time refreshing and preparing for a new workday. And even weekly they have the option of keeping intact their work and their personal lives. However, with AI machines can work 24 7 so without breaks, and unlike humans, they do not even become bored. Number four, helping in repetitive jobs. In the course of our daily work, we will do a lot of repeated work such as sending a thank you mail, checking for error documents, and much more. We can produce these worldly tasks through artificial intelligence and can remove boring tasks and release them to be more creative. We need artificial intelligence. Number five, digital assistants. Some advanced organizations use digital helpers to interact with users that save human resource requirements. Digital helpers also provide users with the things they want in many websites. We can talk to you about what we want. Some chatbots have been designed to make it difficult to determine whether we are talking to a human or a chatbot. Number six, faster decisions. We make decisions faster than human beings with AI, alongside other technologies and can take action faster. During decision making man analyzes emotionally and practice many factors, but a powered machine works on its programming and delivers results more quickly. Number seven, daily applications. Daily apps such as Apple Siri, Windows Cortenanus, Google's OK Google, whether to search a place, take a selfie or call, reply to mail, etc. are often used in the daily routine. Number eight, new inventions. I is powering many inventions in almost every domain, which will help humans solve the majority of complex problems as every bright side has a darker version in it. Artificial intelligence also has some disadvantages. Let's see some of them. Number one, high costs of creation. As I update the hardware and software every day, they must be updated to meet the most recent needs. Machines must be repaired and maintained at great cost. The creation of this machine requires great cost because it is very complex. Number two, making humans lazy. The majority of the work is automated by AI's applications. Human beings tend to be dependent on these inventions, which may cause future generations a problem. Number three, unemployment. As I replaces most repetitive tasks and other work with robots, human inference decreases, causing a big job standards problem. The minimum qualified individuals are replaced by robots by every organization which work more effectively similarly. Number four, no emotions. With I substituting the majority of repeat tasks and other robots, human interference is diminishing, which is causing a major job level problem. Every company seeks to substitute the minimum skilled people with AI robots that work similarly more efficiently. Number five, lacking out of box thinking. Machines can only do those tasks, anything out of which they tend to crash or give irrelevant outputs that can be an important backdrop. So that's all. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel.